So through Dr. Smith's leadership, not only were we able to uh, create an incredible program here at St. Mary's, we've also extended that to our sister hospital at Good Samaritan Hospital in Greensboro. And working through the leadership of Dr. Smith, we've actually been able to establish the first remote stroke program in the entire state. That allows us to be more integrated and provide a better, timely and efficient care for stroke patients. Mac is not only an extremely intelligent physician, but he also avails himself of all the latest research and incorporates that into his practice on a regular basis. So he has the ability to integrate and analyze all the data out there and then create his own data, analyzing his results, patient care. And it's really evident, I mean, in just speaking to him, but he also has done presentations at international stroke conferences. He's done tons of things to incorporate the latest technology and the most innovative methods for patient care as it relates to stroke especially. He's helped to organize an entire stroke program, helped to put in the protocols uh, that are implemented in the ER when the folks come in, and is clearly a specialist in his area. I mean, everyone in the community respects him as an expert in the stroke field. It's very easy for me to talk about Dr. Smith. He was actually, he's been very instrumental in, in my life in encouraging me to be a be really better person and a better nurse. And he and Dr. Morris, as, they, as we embarked on this stroke journey, all three of us came back to St. Mary's in 2009, and we formed a team, and we were able really to integrate a really good program here at St. Mary's to elevate the care of stroke patients in our community. And they have been, both of them have been such encouragers. They continue both to be so curious, so energetic, so loving and caring for our patients. You know, what all of our patients always say about Dr. Smith is that he is so kind and compassionate and that he takes the time to know them as individuals. He sees the humanness in all of us and he exhibits the humanness. He really wants people to feel like they're being cared for and being cared for well by him. I don't know that he's ever been short with anybody or not able to speak to someone in a language they can hear. So um, I think that everybody and all of his patients and families would say that, you know, he cared about me as a human being. I want to thank the Georgia Hospital Association for this great honor, but I'm quite humble in accepting it because I think it belongs to many more people than just myself. Particularly, I want to thank our friends at Grady and Emory and our friends down at uh, Georgia Regents University who have supported us and advised us at every step. I want to thank the administration and staff at St. Mary's who are willing to take a gamble in some things with us early on and who have supported us as much as they could throughout the last 12 years. And finally, and most importantly, I want to thank the staff and our nurses who have made this possible. They're the ones that have done the work in the trenches, and they're a pleasure to work with every day. And lastly, I want to thank my family, Gail, my wife, and my daughters, Katie and Sarah, who have put up with the ups and downs that uh, we've suffered through these years. And again, I thank the Georgia Hospital Association for recognizing not just my effort, but the effort of all these people.